to greet everyone in Jesus' name. Greetings, Greetings brethren. Greetings. Good to be here. And I'd like to um, extend greetings to our national presiding bishop, Bishop Ted Roy, Sister Almy, his wife, um, to our presiding bishop of the Church of God of Prophecy worldwide, Bishop Tim Coulter, to our general presbyter, um, Bishop Clayton Endicott, to all our other distinguished guests who are with us tonight, our bishops, our ministers, my brothers and my sisters, and friends, greetings, greetings in the name of our Lord, amen. It's a privilege and an honor bestowed to me by my God that I'm able to stand here to deliver his words, amen. Our thought for the night, and I hope that you'll continue to pray, our thought for the night is thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for the 70 years of the Coke of the Church of God of Prophecy in the United Kingdom. Amen. Raise your hands with me and say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, brethren, you're not with me. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I want to begin by just reading this text from Psalm 136, verse 1 to 4. And I'm hoping that you know it well enough and we can quote it together. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, hallelujah, for his mercy endure it forever hallelujah 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 i want to begin by just thinking about this word thanksgiving and we're just going to think about it in the hebrew scriptures it's from a word that means to use the hand to hold out to worship with extended hands so we're going to practice that just raise your hands Amen. This is what Thanksgiving is about. It's about raising the hands. And it, uh, another um, part of that definition is to cast or to throw. So you get this sense of a very strong movement. So those of you who just did that a while ago, let's do a strong lifting of the hands, extending the hand, extending the hand. Hallelujah. Amen to God. Hallelujah. And thanksgiving in terms of our action. And I hope this will really come through tonight. We thank God because we acknowledge who God, that God is the source of everything. God is the source of everything. And that's why we thank him. When you think about it, brethren, if there is light outside, it is God. If there's air outside, it is God. If there's life in you, it is God. If you want to talk, it is God. If you want to see, it is God. Hallelujah. God is the source of all things. Amen. Amen. To, to get, uh, Thanksgiving means to celebrate and uh, to acknowledge the benefits that God has given to us. Thanksgiving in the Greek means um, to show oneself grateful and to give thanks. And the reason why I've looked at the Hebrew and the Greek is to remind us that throughout the scriptures, there's always thanksgiving. Amen. And we are a people of the scriptures. So we also give thanks to God. Tonight, 
we come to offer up our individual thanksgiving and corporate thanksgiving, acknowledging that God is the source of all things, celebrating his benefits and his goodness, to show ourselves grateful to him for taking us through 70 years of the Church of God of Prophecy in the UK. In doing this, we are joining our brothers and sisters in Scripture who offered up thanksgiving individually and that momentous occasion. So you and I are just joining our brothers and sisters in our generation to give thanks. I hope you're with me tonight. Amen. 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 We're going to take a quick trek through the scriptures. Come with me as we look at some of those occasions for which thanks was given. David, amen, King David praised and thanked God who had enabled him to experience deliverance. How many people in here tonight can raise your hands and say, I have been delivered. I have experienced deliverance. Oh, not many people in here tonight have experienced deliverance. It's a reason why we thank God. Second Samuel 21 verse 1, 22 verse 1, and then verse 50. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song. In the day that the Lord delivered him out of all the hand, the hand of all his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul. Then he says towards the end of the chapter, Therefore I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. When the enemy is chasing you, when he's after you, and when God has delivered you, what do you do? You give thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody in here who has experienced a chase by the enemy? That's what Saul was doing to David. But God sorted things out. And David became king, one of the greatest kings in Israel's history. And David says, therefore I give thanks unto thee, O God. Is there somebody in the congregation tonight who will just raise your hands and say, God, the enemy was chasing me, but you have delivered me, and now I have conquered my enemy, so I give you thanks, Elekon Shaddai, hallelujah, Eleboko Shaddai, amen, amen, the same thought is expressed in Psalm 107, verse 1 to 2. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Have you been redeemed? Have you been redeemed? Redeemed means you've been released. You've been brought back. Ah, thank God. There's enough people in here to say, devil, I have been ready. And I give God thanks. Amen. And we see another example of the giving of thanks in scripture. When the Ark of the Covenant was brought back to Jerusalem. Do you remember the Ark of the Covenant was a box that God had commanded Israel to make? And on top of the box was the mercy seat. And the, 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 the box symbolized God's presence with his people. The Ark was captured, if you remember, taken away by the Philistines. Amen, if you remember what happened there. Now, David, having become king and, 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 and set up Jerusalem as the center of national life, he wanted the ark 
to come into the center of national life so that there could be a consciousness of the presence of God among his people. Absolutely essential that the presence of God is given priority, amen, among his people, amen. God must dwell among his people, hallelujah. God must dwell, not our intelligence, not our ability, but God. Hallelujah. So when the ark came back, then on that day, David delivered first the psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Asap and his brethren. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous work. When the presence of God comes back among his people, his people give thanks. His people sing. His people proclaim it because the presence of God is among his people. Let's just acknowledge that presence now. Do your hands up again. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, get your hands. Stretch them out. Remember, that's what it's about, these hands. Giving thanks to God. Thank you, God, for your presence. Thank you, God, that you are with us. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We see another example of thanksgiving at a momentous occasion in Scripture. The completion of the walls of Jerusalem. Amen. Walls symbolizes protection and defense. It symbolizes identity. And when your walls are broken down, it signals a disgrace to your nation or your, your country. And even more important, the state of your walls show the strength of the people. And in those days, the strength of your God. The state of your wall show the strength of the people. But it also showed the strength of your God. So when Nehemiah heard that the walls were broken down, the gates were burned, Nehemiah decided something had to be done about the walls. Protection was needed. And sometimes, brethren, among us, that which should protect us gets broken down. Amen. Sometimes the unity that should be around us gets broken down. Sometimes the love that should be around us gets broken down. Sometimes the doctrine that should be protecting us gets a whole and a high, gets broken down. And they need to be fixed. It needs to be fixed. Amen. So in spite of great opposition to Nehemiah and the Jews, the wall was rebuilt. And Nehemiah ordered thanksgiving to be offered up to God. And at the dedication of the wall in Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of their places to bring them to Jerusalem to keep the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and with singing, with cymbals, psalteries, and with harps. Then I brought up, this is Nehemiah, the princes of Judah upon the wall and appointed two great companies of them that gave thanks whereof one went on the right hand unto, upon the wall toward the dung gate and the other company of them that gave thanks went over against them and I after them and half of the people upon the wall. So stood two companies of them that gave thanks in the house of God and I and the half of the rulers with me. Hallelujah. When things get broken down, and they are fixed, we give thanks. We give thanks. When things have gone wrong in church, when things have gone wrong among us, and they are fixed, 
when God sends people to fix these things, we give thanks. Amen. Oh, God, help me tonight. How many of you in here have been in situation in your church where the enemy has come and messed up the wall? How many people can identify with that? If you can, I want you to give thanks that it's now fixed. Oh, brethren, come with me. If the walls are broken, we are in danger of the enemy. When love gets broken, there's danger the enemy will come in. Oh, Lord God. But when they are fixed, when they are fixed, when they are fixed, then the enemy has to stay out. So we give thanks. Hallelujah. 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 We give thanks. We give thanks. Jesus, in the New Testament, at the Passover meal, I was fascinated with this, where he instituted the Lord's Supper. Amen. Scripture says, and he took the cup, he gave thanks and said, take this and divide it among yourself. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying, this is my body which is given to you. This do in remembrance of me. And I'm thinking to myself, Jesus symbolizing his suffering symbolizing his suffering, his death that was going to come. And how does he do it? By giving. Come with me, brethren. How does he do it? By giving. His body is going to be broken. He's going to suffer great pain. Oh, God. Blood is going to come out. He's going to die. Oh, God. But what does he do? He gives thanks. Hallelujah. I'm asking you tonight to think about it. That in whatever situation we find ourselves, whatever challenges we come across, whatever suffering is going to be applied to our lives, let's always find a place to give thanks. Hallelujah. It is not easy. I'm so mad just looking at it. The bread, my body's going to be broken. He's looking at the wine, my blood is going to be spilled. But he's still saying, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I want you to make it up in your mind tonight. Hallelujah. You see what we have to understand, that God is the source of all things. Jesus was going to suffer, he was going to die, that's true. But he was going to be resurrected and he was going to ascend to heaven. And so something wonderful was going to come out of that. If you can believe that tonight, that whatever it is you are going through, because God is with you. The scripture says, for my God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So be bold and try to lift your hands in the middle of it and say, thanks. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there somebody in the house tonight who is challenged with something? I am asking you tonight, be bold and just lift your hands right where you are and say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You have been with me. Oh, come, brethren. Is there somebody else who is struggling tonight? Struggling with a problem, struggling with a situation. I'm encouraging you, risk, lift your hands. Do that now. Just say in faith, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I know you will never leave me. I know you will never forsake me. I know that thou art with me. Hallelujah. 
even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Shaddai, Alemoko Shadalaha, Kalemoko Shadalaha. Hallelujah. 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 Remember what I said at the start? We must think that he's the source. And that's what's going to be in our minds. Whatever we're going through, he's the source of all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul in his writing, amen, in Colossians 1, verse 3 to 12. I'm just taking you through some scriptures. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us to be meet, meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Thank you, God. Amen. We thank God because, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is so wonderful. We have been made partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Hallelujah. How many people here tonight, ah, you are glad that you've got this inheritance? Oh, Lord. So what do you say? You say, thank you, Lord. Oh, brethren, if somebody suddenly says to you, you had a great uncle who has died and he's left you an inheritance and it's 50,000 pounds. Would you just sit there and say, yes, mm, I'm very glad. Would you do that? What would you do? You would say, oh, you've been jumping all over the place. Jumping all over the place. What I'm saying today, we have an inheritance and we should say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. So we say, brethren, who are we thanking? Who is this God? Who is this God? The first verse of the Psalm 136 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. The word Lord there, if you have a King James like I do, some of us stick to the King James. You'll see it in capital letters. And it tells you it's the name of our God. Amen. Our God has a name. Amen. Some say Yahweh. Some say Jehovah. Amen. Some say Adonai. Amen. What do you say? Just shout it out. Amen. What do you say? I am the I am, thank you, amen, is the self-existent one, he is the eternal one, he is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel, the God of creation, and my God, is he your God, amen, amen, who is this Lord that we're thanking? Who is this Lord that we're saying is the source of all things? Well, we're going to take a trek to the scriptures and you can come with me. Psalm 23 verse 1 says, the Lord is my shepherd. That's the Lord that we're serving. He is our shepherd. He is our guide. He is the one who cares for us. Psalm 27 verse 1 says, quote it with me, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That's the Lord that we are serving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 118 verse 14 the Lord is my strength and my song and is become my salvation. Amen. That's the Lord. Strength there means force and might and power. Amen. And we see there the song. Hallelujah. 
How many of you have been in situations where things have got really difficult, but your Lord, your God, your Yahweh, your Jehovah, your Adonai have given you a song? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the Lord, our healer. Some people say Adonai, um, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, in Psalm 103. And I'm getting you to quote these scriptures because you know them. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, and healeth all thy diseases who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Psalm 146 says, The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. By the way of the wicked, he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. I'm here to declare to you tonight that our God, Adonai, Yahweh, Jehovah, that God is the source of all things and he reigns. Oh, Lord, help me. Hallelujah. He reigns to all generations. You and I are the present generations and our God is reigning. So we say, we say, we say, amen, amen, amen. Jehovah Jireh, what does that mean? The Lord our provider, amen, amen. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. I'm telling you, my God is rich. My God is rich. He's rich in everything. He's rich in life. He's rich in health. He's rich in company. He's rich in love. He's rich in favors. He's rich if I need something. Whatever my needs are, oh God, my God is rich. Is your God rich? Hallelujah. So what do we say, Breton? We say, thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God is the God of gods, Amen. the greatest of all gods. That's why we thank him. Our God is the Lord of lords, the mightiest of all lords. He's the ruler over creation. Deuteronomy 10 verse 17 to 18 says, for the Lord your God is God of gods and lords of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. Amen. He doth execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow, and loveth the stranger in giving him food and raiment. Amen. Sometimes, brethren, I think we forget who our God is. And that's why I'm challenging you that even if things are difficult, lift your hands and say, thank you, Lord, because our God is more than able. We are not a very good reflection of who our God is. We should be walking with our heads held high, whatever the situation is, trampling on the works of the devil and declaring that our God reigns. Our God reigns. Oh, Lord, brethren, come with me. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Jesus says when we pray, he must say, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I believe in a God whose will will be done. If he's going to bless you, that is his will. Nobody. No devil in hell. No demons can stop it from happening. Hallelujah. 
Do you believe me, brethren? So let me see you with your head held high. Come on. You've got a God who reigns. Whatever your trouble is, push your shoulders back. Lift your head up. Lift up your hands and praise your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I haven't heard the praise yet. Amen. I want you to lift your hands. Show the devil that in this place there are people who believe in a living God. People who know their God. Hallelujah. People who believe that God reigns. Lift your hands. Praise God. Elokon Shaddai, Elokon Shaddai, Hallelujah, 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 Elokon Shaddai, Hallelujah. Praise your God, thank your God. Let the earth hear it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shame the devil tonight. Shame the demons tonight. Shout hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. My God reigns, my God reigns. My God is in charge, my God is in charge. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Amen. 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 So brethren, as we look back over time, Hallelujah. And we think about what God has done for Kogop, Church of God of Prophecy. Amen. In this country, over 70 years, we individually say, thank you, God. And as a body together, we say, thank you. Hallelujah. God has allowed us to labor with him. And notice that, labor with him. Sometimes we seem important and we think we're doing it. But I'm telling you, it is God. It is God. It is God. For we are laborers together with him. We are God's husbandry. We are God's building. That's what we are. We are a field that God is working in. And what has God done? Jesus says to us in um, St. John, um, he says, He have not chosen me, 15 verse 16, but I have chosen you and ordained you that he should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever shall ask of the father in my name he shall he may give it to you so what are we thanking god for ah oh, hallelujah god has allowed us since 1953 to increase in some 60 odd churches in this nation thank god thank god god has given us foundational leaders who have set the pace, established and rooted the work in the Word and the Holy Spirit. Faithful people, amen. People who fought a good warfare, holding faith and a good conscience. Some of them have gone. Can you think of any of them? Can you think of any of them? Well, raise your hands and say, thank you, God. Have somebody in mind that you're thinking of and say, thank you, God. Thank you, God for that particular leader, amen. This has led now to our time, to a body of leaders who are and continue to be able ministers, who are ministering the gospel effectively, people who are good ministers of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine. Thank God for our leaders. Oh, come brethren, thank God. Thank God for our leaders. They work hard, they get a lot of criticism, but tonight is to say, thank you, God. 
Thank you, God. Amen. God has given us over the years many young people who have come through Victory Leaders Band. That was our name. How many people here remember VLB? Amen. Many of us have come through VLB. Amen. That was a youth group for those people who are not familiar with it. It's the youth group at that time, the, the, the youth ministries at that time. Gleaner Band. What was Gleaner Band? That was the children's ministry amen amen youth life team who remembers youth life team the evangelism arm amen of our youth group god has brought youth camp you camp. amen amen youth activities abroad how many people are involved going abroad amen to different countries amen amen and our current youth and children's ministry and that has formed our youths have formed the backbone of the current ministry and laity how many people here came through vlb how many of the ministers yeah you came through vlb amen how many people here came through vlb amen amen that the current leadership amen is actually from those youths that have come through our church so we say thank you amen 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 we have young men who overcome the wicked one we have children who have known the father and they've come through in our work Amen. We have our education program. What's our education school called? Timothy School of Ministry. Equipping and preparing men for the gospel and to rightly divide the word of God. We say, thank you, Lord. Our social action arm in our church as we see in various local activities. How many churches here are involved in some sort of social action? Soup kitchen or um, visiting the elderly. Wave your hands, wave your hands. Amen. And for this we say, we got Rafa. Amen. The national group that looks at prevention and, and relief of poverty. We have Sentiel Counseling. We have Nehemiah Housing that we still have strong links with that works with the elderly. We say... We have our women's ministries, amen. Retreats, our connect program, our men's ministry, amen. We have our worship and music ministry. We have so much talent in our church that has come through the years. Amen, amen, amen. We say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We have a well-established prior movement which is determined to pray to make a difference to our work we say amen we have strong links with our community amen and and, and we we do a lot of involvement with other church other church organization other national organization that our church is involved with we say how should we thank psalm 95 verse 1 to 3 says Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalm. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. The God of the church, a God of prophecy for the last 70 years is a great God, a God, hallelujah, amen, who is a king above all gods. We take no glory for ourselves. We say, thank hallelujah. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth unto all generations. Our fathers and mothers began this work, but God's truth is with us in our generation and what do we say brethren we say oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing throughout this convocation we take nothing for ourselves we declare that it is our god 
you who have brought us this far and he who will take us further. Amen. There have been challenges, yes, we would agree. But our God, the scripture says, for his mercy endureth forever. His love has been with this church. And despite all the challenges, we are still here 70 years on, standing for God and for his work. For this we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So brethren, finally, what is the outcome if we truly came and praised God? What would be the outcome? I want to read you from 2 Chronicles 5 verse 14. It came to pass even to pass, as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound, to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever, that then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord fill the house. Hallelujah! And I'm saying, if we praise and thank our God, His glory! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I want you to stand with me, brethren. And I want you to look back over the 70 years. And I just want to give our God a thank you. A good, good thank you. Thank you. Come on. Just begin to thank him. Just begin to thank him. Just begin to thank him. Thank him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Things have been challenging. Things have been hard. Yes, yes. The enemy was chasing me. But tonight I am saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No, you are not thanking. Lift up your hands in the house. Hallelujah. 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 Grab somebody's hands. Grab somebody's hand in the house. Hold on to somebody's hand and say, come, let us thank him. Let us thank him. God, you are worthy. You are the source of all things. Hallelujah. 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 Kelemoko Shadalahan. Hallelujah. Kelemoko Shadalahan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kalamoko Shade. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.